Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I have the Google Pixel 3 XL right here. Excited for this video because Google gave me some exclusive early access to the new Night Sight feature that is coming to the camera on the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Now they teased Night Sight at their launch event, however it hasn't officially rolled out till I believe today they're starting the rollout of the official update to the camera. Now with that early access, I went around and tried out a bunch of different scenarios to take a bunch of different types of shots. A lot of people have been reporting that it's like magic. So let's go ahead and check out some of those pictures. Check out the Night Sight part of the camera app now in the Pixel 3 XL uh, and check out uh, if it really is magic. So opening up the camera app on the Pixel 3 XL, and right away you really won't notice any difference. Uh, everything does look just about the same until you go into the More tab, which is where you're going to see Night Sight. And if you press on it, here we go. You have a few different options. Now I want to take a picture right now with Night Sight, and you'll see it had a bit of a loading bar right there, and it said hold, hold still. And look at how quick that was. That is because I'm obviously not in a night sight situation, so it realizes, oh, I don't really need to do a long exposure. I can balance this bright light. Now that the lights are off, I'd like to go back into that camera application and see it automatically detects that there is really low light, and you can hit try night sight down on the bottom, and that will quickly swap to night sight mode, and you'll see it looks really grainy like so. However, if we go ahead and take a night sight picture, Hold as still as you possibly can, hard in this position for me, and then you saw how much longer that you actually had to wait for that picture to be shot. If you press back, it'll just go back into that camera app and you can snap a picture. Now I want to go and check the difference between the two because this is just a quick comparison. Look at that, crazy difference. You can actually see colors. Yeah, of course it's going to be grainy because there's like no light in this office, but you can't see even what the color of the desk is, the color of that plant over there. Just a crazy difference between the two shots. As a side note, I also found that anytime that this Try Night Sight pops up, generally the Night Sight picture has turned out better, so Google has done a good job at recommending it in the best scenarios. Another noteworthy setting within Night Sight in the upper left-hand corner is that of focusing. You can choose autofocus or you can specifically choose it to focus on what's near or what's on far, depending on the picture that you're taking. You also have a magnifying glass to zoom in if you'd like to, a timer on the left side, or pressing this X will take you back to the normal camera app. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the test shots that I took. So let's begin by taking a look at some of the outdoor night shots that I took of buildings, some things further away. Now I'll always start with the shot with the regular camera and then I'll switch over to the night shot. Maybe do some side-by-side -side comparisons. So to begin, taking a look at this picture, you'll see there's a decent amount of light at this building. And then here is the night shot. So you will see the darker subjects really do pop more. They, they show up more. Now this one uh, wasn't crazy different. You can definitely tell it's brighter, but they also can overexpose specific areas of light such as those lights on the building. Uh, but overall, I would say it still did a better job. I'd probably prefer the night shot picture. Now this one, definitely a big difference because there's a lot less lighting going on. I'm further away from where the lights actually are. Uh, so look, looking at the buildings, of course, there's the moon behind the buildings. Those trees in the bottom left are really dark. And now take a look at the night shot there. You can really start to see the leaves on the ground more, those leaves on the tree to the left. Uh, the sky looks just cooler overall. You can definitely tell it's taking a longer exposure shot. Uh, just the buildings have more detail, but this definitely really shows off how night sight can do a better job with those type of shots. Now, what if you're doing a little sightseeing at night? Here is a statue. Again, same thing. Those trees on the left and right are really dark. Really can't see the statue very well. And then here's the night shot. You can see the ground, you can see the trees. You can just see a lot more with night sight. And a quick shot of an alley where it's really dark, pretty self-explanatory, checking out the night sight. You can just see a lot more and a lot more detail in the shot. That front facing camera also has the night sight capability. So let's say you're in that dark alley, you wanna take a selfie, here it is with just the regular camera and you'll see very, very dark. There was not a lot of light in this shot. And then switching over to night sight, you can see a lot more yet. Granted, 
Don't get me wrong, that picture is not something I would post. It's not a very flattering picture, but just kind of a proof of concept to say, hey, look what it is capable of doing. You might want to post it, you might like it, but of course it's a little grainy, it's not the best shot, but it is much better than that with the regular camera app. So this shot I tested with just about no light going on inside my apartment. This is with the regular camera app, and this is with the autofocus on with night sight. As you can tell, just a crazy difference. This one is one that you're just like, wow, this is a totally different shot. Now this next shot is probably one of the better ones that I took to really show off the capabilities of night sight. Outside walking around, walking back from our softball game, it was like 20, 25 degrees outside. Asked a couple of friends, hey, let's take a picture. You two uh, just stand right over there. And I made sure to have my shadow cast over both of them. So here is that shot with the regular camera app, and you'll see how dark it really is. It was really dark in the surrounding area, but you'll also notice with the guy on the right, my shadow is cast over him. And you can also see, you can't really see any detail on his right side because of my shadow. Now, let's switch over to that night sight shot and just look at how much different that actually is. And then of course, you could see a lot more detail. You can actually see his arm, you can see his jacket with that shadow. Uh, and you'll just see everything surrounding it is way more lit up. Their faces are way more lit up. This turned into a much better picture than the original. Something I also noticed is that it does a pretty good job at white balance and making it look like it is more in a natural lighting scenario. So here's a shot that I took. This is a selfie with the rear camera with night sight off right now and you'll see how blue it actually is. That's because my other monitor was on in front of me, had a really cool light going on. And of course I put on all white as well for this picture just so you can kind of see that white balance. And then switching over to the night sight shot, you will see how much better that color is balanced. It just kind of got rid of all of that cool light and just turned it a little bit warmer, just made it more of a natural looking shot. And to finish things off, just a couple other examples. One more of a selfie right here. And this is with all the light being behind me. You'll see my face completely dark. This is with the regular camera app. And then here is night sight. So it takes that long exposure, throws some light on my face, and you can actually see my face. This is just another example of when you'd want to use night sight. And then here's just more of a, oh, look, this magic shot. This is really dark, can barely see the colors of anything. And then with night sight, really makes those colors pop more, adds a ton more light to the pictures. So my conclusion of night sight is that no, you don't necessarily need to use it in every single situation. The low light shots on the Pixel 3 are already very good. However, when it hits that point of it getting very dark and there's not a crazy amount of light in there, that's when night sight really shines. It generally turns completely unusable pictures into somewhat usable pictures and some of them even usable pictures. And since this is the first iteration of Night Sight, I expect it to get better over time as their algorithm grows. They are essentially just using AI to figure out, oh, where should this light be? How should we balance the colors? And it does a fantastic job for it being their first iteration. So overall, I'm impressed. Nice addition to the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. And there was a proof of concept. Just looking at those pictures, you could just tell, oh, this is, I can barely see what's in this shot even. And when you take it with the Night Sight, you can actually see it. You can see some colors. So generally, it's going to improve those pictures. Again, you don't necessarily need to use it every time, but like I said, it, it recommends it in just about every optimal situation that you should be using it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button, drop a comment, let me know what you think about Night Sight. Be sure to subscribe, a lot more videos coming very soon as well. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.